What is up guys, Mustani Gaming Area here And we're gonna make a bucket tutorial right now As you guys know, bucket is now currently down As you guys know, the developer I guess Like, doesn't want to get Make go, make bucket still going again I don't know So, this is not the tutorial yet This is just to show you that Craft bucket is really down So if you guys try to download craft bucket This will show up This will show up 451 and reverse, yeah so this this one, look, I got the file, I got every file, I got car market point the 1.7.10. I'm sorry I I can't find 1.7 at uh, 1.8. Okay? So you will get this winrar file. But I'll I'll put it in the description down below in this video. But if you guys want to directly download feel free, I'll put the ad fly description too. So yeah, the ad fly Okay. If you guys go through this video you want to see too, but this guy's not tutorial to show you. Not okay. So I'm gonna put this ad fly description. Click on that. There's an ad fly link. You have to wait five seconds. Okay, five second. Five second. What second? Okay. You skip ad. When you skip ad, it opens you to a media media fire page. And you're just gonna you guys just gonna click download. Uh, yeah, server.rar Save that, but I have it, so I'm just gonna cancel Because I don't like duplicates So you're gonna put it in your desktop So if you guys see, this is the server You're gonna open it with Winrar Archiver It's free download, I'll put it in the description down below You just can close that free, download the free trial Okay, you're gonna have a file called server But I cannot rename it for some reason, but it's like meh So you're gonna have a file called server, mine's that Because I renamed it so we're gonna drag that to the desktop. So I'm gonna drag that. Okay. I drag it already, so it's gonna be it or not. So that you're gonna get that file, okay? You're gonna double click that, and then you're gonna click run. Don't double click. You click once. Add it. Add it. Okay. If you're on Windows 8, you're gonna you do not you're gonna skip this part. But if you're on Windows 7, next to the program file, there's gonna be like a bracket eight something. You're gonna do delete that until the Java slash until the file. So I delete that until over there and that's for Windows 7. In Windows 8, skip this part, save it. Yeah, I save it, I don't save because I really did it. Then you're gonna go to okay, this one I accidentally picked right. Sorry about that. So uh then you're gonna go server properties, make sure that's properties. Uh server IP. This is port forward uh tutorial. I'm sorry if you guys are not port forward. You're gonna search YouTube by yourself because we're not the same router. If you're gonna port forward, you're gonna Google what's my IP. When, once you Google that, you click that. And I'm gonna blur it out, your IP will be there. Your IP address is and your IP address. So then you put your Minecraft at server, right? And you re re name any server you want. Like maybe my server or something. Like, yeah, my server. Okay. My server, you copy and paste that. Not yet open yet because you must double you double click the run and pop it. So if if it says like different things like besides loading libraries, you're doing it all wrong. But you can I can maybe help you guys in the comment section. Just comment what's your problem. Copy paste the text popped up in the console. This is called the console. The main thing is here because this is not like hosted. If hosted, your console will be in a website. But see. If it says done, it will pop up that. But my one got two, so I'll in the same IP. Double click that, you have your own server. It's it's port forward. So if you guys wanna ask your friends, close friends only, send your IP to them. You're close, okay? Like if you don't want like show the IP, change the IP. Like, I think there's a website that makes your IP become like not dash no IP dot org something. See this console works. You do op up like have all permissions game mode one you can do anything this have no plugins if you want plugins it's pretty easy download plugins make sure it's a jar file like jar file plugins from bucket drag it to your desktop anywhere or save it inside your server or server name uh, server file and there'll be a plugins file so you just put inside there reload reload your server that means like if your server still open just double click that and then make sure it's done Reload it. Cause if you guys still don't know anything what I'm saying, comment down below. Give it a like, subscribe, and share it to your friends who ever want to make a server. Enjoy me talking in front of this thing. See ya guys. Stay tuned.